God can't heal what you don't reveal. So my daughter has been sick for a few days now and I took her to urgent care. And when I took her there, you know, I told them, you know, what was going on. And at first, you know, they did the little test, but nothing showed that as if it was wrong until my daughter actually coughed in the middle of it. And when she coughed, then you could hear like the congestion and everything in her and they ended up saying she had an acute respiratory infection. I said all that to say this. It's the same thing with God. He, we Sometimes we come to God and we just want to say surface things. You know, our bills need to be paid. I need another job, this, that, and the third. But what God wants is the innermost parts of you, like the things that you may have not told anyone that is bothering you. God wants to heal that type of stuff. Because at the end of the day, he wants to make you whole. He wants to make you new. He doesn't want you going around every day with, like, carrying that burden. And sometimes we don't want to tell God those things because, let's face it, a lot of times we have trust issues from everyone. And so sometimes it's even hard to even trust God. Hey, it happens. And so at the end of the day, God is saying, trust me, I want to heal you. I want to make you brand new, but you have to come to him with that. And I know, yes, God already knows that you have these issues or whatever, but he wants to have that relationship with you. So he can't heal what you don't reveal. So the next time when, you know, you're really going through something, have a moment with God and really dig deep and tell him exactly how you feel. You can just come to him like you're having a conversation with a regular person because God just wants to have that relationship with you. He wants you to come and talk to him. He wants to heal all of the parts of you and make you brand new and make you the person that he created you to be. So go to God, trust God, and let him heal you fully.